Yo, what's up, e skaters? It's Neil with Big Kids. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how I built my DIY electric skateboard and some of the vendors that I used. Come Before we check out my build, please consider subscribing to Big Kids. This is a brand new channel that's going to revolve around DIY, vendors, and the community. Hopefully you get something out of it. In the meantime, let's check out how I built my electric skateboard. And during the video, don't hesitate to stop and look at the notes below as I've listed all my parts and the links for where I got them. Because I'm recording myself build my board. I wanna, I wanna work hard with you too. You do? Yeah. Here's what you'll need to build your electric skateboard. Start with a longboard deck. Then get some trucks, wheels, a motor, motor mount, pulleys, an electronic speed control, some bearings. That's about it. Well actually you need lipo batteries, an RC remote, a soldering iron, and some other stuff. I'll leave some links in the description below. With this Valspar paint, I used my graffiti scales on my board. Then, I used this 3M rubberized spray to spray paint this drawer insert that I bought from Ikea to use as my enclosure for all my electronics. So I'm going to start with putting the bearings on these wheels. These are 90 millimeter longboard wheels. Anyways, I wanted to show you this. This is a 70 millimeter wheel that are traditionally on longboards, and this is the 90. This is freaking huge. These are monsters, man. So um, this is gonna help a lot with speed. Um, you're not gonna get that, you know, initial speed that you get with this because it rotates faster. But overall, you're gonna get a faster speed in the long run with bigger wheels. I got these on Amazon. These are Zealous bearings. Uh, they're ABEX 7s. So these are the bearings. Uh, they come with spacers built in. And I think they're really nice. They, they got high ratings on Amazon, so I just wanted to give them a try. So a nice way to put bearings on is you put them on to the truck and then you put them onto your wheel so that things are flush and square. Pop it in and then poop. Real nice. Ta-da! So here's the fun part. This is the pulley. Um, you wanna get some belts. I got these from DIY Electric or they call them, his brand is called Torque Boards. And it was uh, pretty, pretty uh, affordable. I'm gonna put them onto my wheel right here, and this belt is actually gonna be pulled by the motor, which I got from Inertion. So yeah, let's do this. So the bearings are on. What's next is to put uh, the wheel pulley on, and it comes in two parts. Uh, it's the part with the teeth, and then the other side that helps kind of fasten it onto the wheel uh, with six sets of bolts. Make sure that the two holes, uh, if you actually see there's a middle part right here, align with this little post right here. And then the two bolts are gonna go on each side. And then to do that, don't rush it because you wanna make sure that everything is straight through um, and you know not crooked or anything. So if you look inside now, the bolts are nicely kind of in there. And what I'm gonna do next is put this over, but make sure that the holes are aligned with the bolts. At this point, I'll probably use a drill, just cause it's easier. And power tools are fun. Pow, pow, power tools. Power tools! Power wheels, 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 power wheels
So next, you're gonna wanna take your um, motor mount Hi. and motor. Hi. And motor. Hi. <laughs> so next up, I'm attaching my motor mount, which I bought from Inertion. Uh, they're an awesome company out of Australia, and I'm gonna connect it to my motor. I'm gonna take this, um, put it into the inside of the motor mount. I, I think this is the inside of the motor mount right here. And as I take the inside of the motor mount, and fasten it and they basically give you four little hex screws uh, that, and uh, the motor mount itself has little slots as well as the motor has these little holes pretty easy straightforward as soon as I get that done I'll be attaching it to my um, to my truck one thing that I should point out these are caliber 2 trucks the shape of the truck itself has this flat spot right here, which actually help the mount stay on. Um, they fit right in like that. So basically, if you don't have um, if you don't have caliber trucks, then you're gonna want to flat flatten out um, a spot on your actual trucks so that the motor mount stays on there nicely. So this right here is the motor pulley. Uh, it's a little smaller than the wheel pulley that we installed earlier. Um, there are about four screws that actually fit in here. Uh, you, you're provided that from the company. And then you're gonna wanna, there's a little flat spot right here. If you could see right there, you're gonna wanna align the Align this with a flat spot. Anyways, let's uh, let's get that going. You're also gonna want to have um, a really handy Allen wrench. Uh, the the screws that they have for this actually get really small, so this came in really handy. So it's starting to get dark outside. I went outside and I checked on the board. Uh, the paint has cured and I got it right here. I actually put um, some pre-drilled holes in before painting it. And the reason I did that is so that I could put some screws in from the top to put on my case or my enclosure. And then on the enclosure, what I'll do is I'll use a nut to keep it so four nuts to keep it in place. Uh, but before I do anything, now is the time to put on the grip tape, which I got today. I uh, got the grip tape on, and now we're gonna put the trucks on. Here are some risers. What this does is it uh, creates more space between the deck and the ground and um, so that the motor uh, doesn't hit the board or the ground. So put these on. Electronics aren't too hard. Uh, there, there did take some time to figure out what goes with what, but I'm gonna start off by uh, putting everything in the container that I sprayed, and I already just lined the inside of the container with some Velcro, 
and the Velcro will basically stick all the components. Uh, the first component that I wanted to explain is the VESC. I bought this VESC from uh, Miami Electric. Uh, they're a really good company. Their shipping is fast. Definitely recommend them. The nice thing about their VESC is that it's, it's wrapped and then it also has a heat sink on the bottom. So like a metal piece that grabs some of the heat because these do create a lot of heat. Um, next is the receiver. So the receiver is this piece that connects to the VESC. The receiver connects to this guy, the controller. Uh, basically, it has a throttle power button. Uh, basically controls your speed um, within your hand, which is kind of cool. And then lastly is the battery. I have two 5,000 milliamp LiPo batteries. Uh, they're five cell. If that means anything, uh, each one is a five cell, and then I've connected them in series. So what that means is that the negative from this one goes into the positive of this one, and then the positive goes out on that side. I'm sorry, the negative goes out on that side, and then the positive goes out on this side. So it becomes one big battery, and that will be powering uh, pretty much everything. So I will get to it, and I will show you how it's done. Here's the VESC. Here's the receiver. And then here are the LiPo batteries. Pine. Connect the phase wires. These are the phase wires into the motor. This controls the speed of the motor. Um, it actually doesn't matter which way you do them. When you put them together, just make sure that it's going in the right direction. If they're not going in the right direction, just switch them around. So what I did is I color-coded them so I remembered which one goes to which. And make sure you do this when you don't have the battery connected. So what I did here is make a serial adapter. They connect into each of the batteries. One battery neg uh, negative goes into the positive of this one. Then I made this bullet connector to XT90 to connect to the VESC. Now with that, I have this little key anti-spark that basically turns it on and off. Ta-da! And turn on this. That's checked. And let's see. So here it is, my electric longboard. Here's the anti-spark key. Let's pop it in here. Okay, anti-spark key in. Just gotta power it up. There we go. All right. Woo. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Woo.